In the next five videos, we are going to build your dream business so you can make the most money possible while enjoying every moment. I'm going to go over the step-by-step -step process I used to go from a struggling freelancer to booking a $4,000 client within the first four weeks of my business. And of course, I'm going to share everything else that I learned in the two years that have passed since then, and that has led me to earn more money through my side business than my high-paying software engineering corporate job. This video in particular, we'll be creating a bot development business, but the things you will learn in this video and in this series can apply to any service-based business, whether it be SMA, web agencies, or AI automation agencies. Now, this will be a very in-depth video as I'll be going over a lot of knowledge, resources, and the exact methods I use to make $13,000 a month with my business. Now, this is not to sell you a course. In fact, this is a course you're watching right here right now for free. And you might want to pause this video and jot down some notes. This video in particular will cover how to find a good niche, create our offer using a simple value equation, design the offer, and position yourself as an expert. And now in the upcoming videos in the series, we will go over finding clients for your business, creating a streamlined client onboarding and delivery process, and scaling to work only four hours a day but increase our revenue by 4x every quarter first thing you have to do is get over the idea that creating a bot requires a lot of coding you see there are a lot of no code tools and free resources that you can use to now create bots you don't need to be some expert level tim cooks or steve jobs or elon musk type of person to create a bot and if you do want to learn a little bit of coding that's really all you need to create a bot as you see bots are usually very little in terms of lines of code this bot right here i sold for two thousand dollars and it's less than a hundred lines of code guys you can learn how to write 100 lines of code within one week of watching a coding tutorial and this is if you want to code again you can use no code tools to create bots another big thing you want to shift in your mindset is when a lot of beginner business owners first get into any space any service-based business in this case bot development they try to attack every single industry now you want to select one industry to automate at first of course you can always branch out later now there are bots for shoe stores and general retail sneaker stores like Foot Locker finish line nike there's also bots for towing truck companies that accept towing jobs automatically there's bots for fitness apparel there's bots that scrape leads in case you're an agency and you want to get more leads to like message to hopefully land a client there are bots for every single industry you can possibly imagine so if you want to conquer every single industry you're probably not going to be running a very successful business and in this industry clients who want a bot made understand that what they're about to do is they're about to save themselves a ton of time time or get something they otherwise can't with the power of a bot. So they'll be willing to pay you top dollar, which is why a lot of bots are high ticket services. And to attract these high ticket customers, what you want to do is you want to become an industry specialist, not a one size fits all. You see, if you're someone who's looking for a bot for your towing truck business, are you going to look for the company that has a site saying, hey, we create all types of bots for every industry? Or will you look at the site with the company that's advertising that they create towing bots in particular? particular and they specialize in that you're going to go with the specialist right and you'll be willing to pay top dollar to that specialist because you trust that they'll be able to get the job done because they specialize in that this is where becoming an industry specialist is very attractive as yes you might be losing on clients that are in part of different fields different industries but by becoming a specialist in one industry you'll be attracting very high ticket clients so you'll be getting more bang for the time you spent in in trying to get clients and of course we'll touch more on this in the later video that will come up part of the series and if you're having trouble finding out which industry is best for you to first go into download the free notion template in the description below where i will show you how to find your best industry fit and the last key mindset shift you need to do is to understand that done is better than perfect yes you can spend a couple more hours creating the perfect bot making every single scenario work but by doing so you're now taking away time that you can spend to get the next client or to create the next product done is something that a client is willing to accept it works fully but maybe it might not look the prettiest but it still looks really good just not the prettiest it could be and any successful business owner will tell you that you want to make sure the product is done whether it be building mvp or building something that you know just makes it versus trying to make the perfect item now let's talk about creating your offer so when you create your offer the first thing you want to do is market research you want to look at how much your future customers are making on average and then try to predict how much your bot will help 
help them earn or even save. You see, this will help you figure out fair pricing for your bot. A key example is I have a bot that hotel workers currently pay $600 a month for, but their monthly income on average is $4,000 without the bot. With the bot, it can reach about $7,000 because the bot gets them more and more shifts. So they have more availability to work. Like they are booked in more shifts, so they earn more money. And as a result, their average income per month increases. So you can consider their average income increasing on average $3,000. Now, a good rule of thumb is to take 20% or less of the extra income or saved income your client is able to get using your bot. So in other words, because my clients are able to make $3,000 more, I'm able to charge 20% of that per month, which is $600 a month. That was a lot of math. And if you're not a math whiz, it's totally fine. There's a free notion calculator in the description below that you can use to figure out the best pricing for your product. And always remember the lower the price, the better, but you don't want to make the price so low that clients start looking at your bot and thinking this is probably a scam because that is a common notion in the bot development space because it's still a new space. But that's where one of the advantages comes in. In fact, one of the most key advantages, there's not much competition research you have to do for your bot development business because there are very few businesses out there creating bots. This is a very new space, very niche, and it's going to explode probably within the next two or three years, which is why now is the time, the best time to start. Web development business, SMA, drop shipping, all these online entrepreneurial ventures are so oversaturated by bot development business still has yet to explode. And this video will probably only get about 500 or less views because of YouTube algorithm. But for the 500 people who watch this, you are entering one of the most lucrative fields of business. So give yourself a pat on the back for even finding this video. Now let's talk about actually structuring your services. There are various services in the bot development space, whether it be bots you can make like custom bots, pre-made bots, or maybe even uh, business consultations and some other things you can do as well. For those of you who might want to create your first automated program or bot today, I have a free course link in the description below as well, where I walk you through creating a very simple stock monitor bot for Amazon products. Again, you can literally follow the tutorial and sell this because people will be willing to pay for a stock monitor for Amazon. Now, in terms of pricing, custom bots can range anywhere from 500 bucks to $100,000 with recurring containers. You can also have initial consultations when you are working with these businesses. As a part of your service, you wanna make sure you're actually examining the website your bot will be scraping or acting on because there are some security issues with automated software. So you want to be able to get past those issues, make sure your bot is actually able to work on that website. And then you want to build a proposal. You want to give a price, timeline, deliverables. Then you actually want to build the bot. And that's the overall structure your service will follow. Those are for custom-made bots. Now there are pre-made bots. And these can range from $400 to $5,000 with retainers. And the way the refurbished bot game works is, yes, you can buy someone else's bot and try to sell it as your own if possible. In most cases, because of intellectual property, you can't. What I personally do is I like to create a bot for one client, right? That client will pay me to create a bot for them. That same bot but I will be able to sell to other clients in the same space. So if someone pays me to create a towing job, I will be able to now sell that exact same towing bot to other clients in the towing space. And when you are charging for your bot, you wanna make sure you remember the value of your bot, but you also don't want to recharge for the cost of dev that the initial client may have paid for, because yes, the first client who paid you to create that towing bot may have paid you $3,000, but that doesn't mean the next client will also. In fact, that's just where the power of retainers comes in, where I highly recommend making that second and third and fourth bot sale be a recurring monthly retainer of like maybe 10% of what that first client paid you to create. And of course you wanna give that first client a cut deal, maybe like some free uh, updates, free services or no monthly retainer. So that way they actually get some benefit being the first client. And another thing you can do is business consultations, where basically you do the research part of the research and development cycle of any bot, and you figure out which site is best to create the bot for, what's the security looking like on the site, will creating this bot be easy and hard. You basically figure out all the blueprint and pre-planning all done for that business. And then once they have like a PDF of all your research, you can charge $200, $300 for that overall consultation and tell them, hey, you can now find a bot team that will create this for you, or you can go with us and we will create everything that we laid out for you already. Nine times out of 10, the client will follow you because yes, they've already paid you for a consultation. So the matter of fact, pay you more to create the final product, right? And it's a great way to really hook your client without selling them on the final service you're offering, but it kind of preps them to be ready to pay for the final service. And a little trick that I do is if I know this client will go with my team to create the bot for them, what I tell them is I'll take out the cost of the call from the overall project price. And this way, 
the client won't want to go to another dev or bot team to create this bot and get the work done. Okay, so now you know how to create an offer, structure your services, but let's actually build our offer. And to do this, we'll be using Alex Hermosi's value equation. So what is the equation? In the numerator, we have the max dream outcome, for example, how you can solve a problem for a client, get major results, times the max perceived likelihood of success, divided by the minimum time of to success, multiplied by the minimum effort and sacrifice. Now, if we take this value equation and apply it to one of the most successful bots out there, Cybersoul, let's look at why Cybersoul is a multi-million dollar company. On their website, you see they say that they're able to get any sneakers that are released. They support 250 plus retailers and have 3 million checkouts, making users see this and they'll automatically understand that this bot might be one of the best sneaker bots already because of the credibility that Cybersoul establishes on the website. So the dream outcome is already sold. Now let's look at the time to success. Well, the time is only until the next time a sneaker that the user wants is coming out. So it's a really short time to see results. And when we talk about effort, all the user has to do to use this bot is just sign up and pay for the bot. So it's very, very simple and easy to use. And their UI makes it even more easy to use that bot. So even a dummy who isn't good with computers can use a bot to get their desired sneakers. And Cybersoul is one of the most successful bot companies out there with millions of dollars made because yes, they're selling a bot, but they're ultimately selling a dream. And selling a bot dev service is selling the dream that the client will be able to achieve once they have the bot made. That is really what you're selling to the client. Okay, now you have almost all the steps ready to get your business up and running, but what about your niche? You wanna find the best niche for your bot development business. Now, at first you want to try to grab every client, every niche you can, I totally understand that. And they might even ask you to build websites and bots for random desires, random niches such as baby clothes, hats, things you might not have ever expected. And you might also understand that in certain niches, you will be creating bots that are very challenging to make because this niche has websites that are protected by top security companies. They have a ton of bot blockers and it's just really hard to maintain or even create the bot. So you might not want to really attack that industry. And a great example is the financial sector. They usually have websites that are very highly protected. So creating a bot for these financial sites can be a pretty big headache. But if you do manage to, then you know you can make over $800,000 in a year, especially if the bot is in the financial space. And my personal recommendation for the niche that will probably best work for you is you want to find which websites and which you know field and industry you're able to create bots for very quickly and easily. Like they don't really require too much effort because this is a niche you'll be able to scale the most in and create the most bots for for the most websites. Now, once you find that niche, I want you to stick with it for at least three months and see the results that come. And a quick note, the industry you pick can have a huge impact on the price. For example, building a bot for baby clothing industry, trust me, I've made one, so I know you are dealing with customers who will pay you probably $300 to $400 for a bot because they're probably not reselling these baby clothes for much profit or anything. On the other hand, I built a bot for expensive golf putters, which again, I have made a bunch of videos on. People will pay you $6,000 monthly to use that bot and they paid me that much, which is why I'm saying so. Now we touched on pricing, you must really dive into it. When you begin creating bots, you are going to probably take some time in creating your first one to two bots. There is a little learning curve, but not much. Again, a lot of no code tools you can use. But if you know you are going to spend 10 hours to make a bot, you might charge someone $80 an hour at the start, which is a very fair rate to be as a bot developer. But you can eventually raise your price up to $150 an hour. And to do this, you want to add reviews to your portfolio, or your personal website as you create more and more bots. You also want to collect a lot of testimonies because the more clients you have vouching for you, the more justifies you will be in raising your rate. A great example is the bot Shifty, which I personally made. I used to charge $125 a month for this bot, but as it got more and more success and more and more clients wanted to get the bot, I upped to $700 a month, which is almost a 5X increase. And a big note, you want to get client commitments. So when you're creating a custom bot for the first time from before a client, you want to try to get an initial down payment from them. That way they're committed to you. They won't flake and it builds trust and incentive between you and the other client. And now we go into the final part, the launch phase. In the launch phase, the steps you want to do are you want to create your offer, right? And you know exactly how to. You want to create a custom website using Framer for your brand as a bot developer. And you want to post content on the internet, whether it be on Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, TikTok, that will drive traffic to your website so people will see that, hey, you are a seasoned bot developer. You are someone who can create very cool bots for any industry or the industry you want to particularly specialize in. Of course, you can run ads, you can use organic content, but you want to make sure you have your business's content out there because that is one of the best ways you'll be able to get clients. Again, like I said, we'll focus more on this in a later video. By following all the steps outlined in this video, you will successfully create your
your dream bot development business. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And remember everyone, this was just one video of a five part series. So by the end of this five part series, you will be able to go from creating a bot development business from scratch and scaling it to $13,000 a month where I'm currently at right now. Until the next video, see you all.